Hi, this is Davis Yelichi, and in this tutorial I would like to show you how to use uh, some of the new features I've been introduced in version 1.5 of Attune. In particular, how to define custom optimization targets and how to use them uh, to optimize one port and two port circuits. Let's start with the one port circuit and uh, let's consider, for instance, an, uh, an antenna for which I have a uh, uh, the S uh, parameter file here, but before loading the data, uh, as usual, I need to select uh, the frequency range. To keep things simple, uh, I consider just a single band EGSM uh, uh, case, so I select the frequency range and then uh, load the, the data. As you can see here, in the in the plot uh, the selected frequency range uh, is highlighted and uh, by default uh, this is also uh, the frequency range used by Atune for optimizing uh, uh, the matching circuits so uh, if you design a matching circuit and call for uh, an optimization uh, Atune will optimize uh, the circuit for this frequency range uh, let's do an example, so I go to circuit I've already selected uh, these uh, Murata uh, inductors and these AVX uh, capacitors as default uh, and rather than uh, designing a circuit myself I let the uh, optimizer do it for me so I select uh, optimization, find the best circuit and then uh, select three components, should be sufficient for this uh, case and uh, in a few seconds I should get the optimal matching circuit, uh, the optimal topology and the optimal values for this uh, frequency range and this antenna. Okay, this is uh, the default behavior of uh, Atune. Now, in version 1.5 you can uh, in define your own uh, uh, optimization targets uh, in it's very easy and uh, you do in do it in this way so you select optimization and then uh, add edit optimization target or press ctrl a so you get this uh, window where you can add uh, a new target uh, in this case uh, uh, for the component of course I select S11 because uh, I have uh, just uh, one port uh, this problem. For the frequency range I want to select a different frequency range uh, for instance 1710 to 1990 and uh, in this frequency range I want the S11 to be less than minus 10 dB. Ok, it's all done. As you can see the target uh, I've defined now appears on the on the graphics uh, on the logmark plot Okay, and uh, and this is a very important point. Uh, whenever uh, a custom optimization target is present in Atune, it will override any other uh, op default optimization target. So uh, if I call for an optimization now, Atune will uh, completely ignore this frequency range and only consider this one. Okay, uh, so do it uh, as before, uh, let uh, Atium find the optimal topology, so go to optimization, find the circuit again, and three components. And uh, voila, in a few seconds I get the results, the optimal circuit, which is different than before of course, because it's different frequency range, and uh, I can see that uh, my antenna with the matching circuit meets uh, uh, my requirement. OK, uh, however, uh, just to continue this example, uh, let's say that I'm not happy about uh, having uh, uh, this resonance here. I want this antenna to work only in the, in the upper frequency range and have a good rejection in this uh, lower frequency range. So I can uh, do that in again, uh, go into the target menu and add a uh, uh, a second target for S11. In this case uh, I select the 800 MHz to 1000 MHz frequency range 
but in this range I want the S11 to be above say minus 1 dB in order to have a good rejection there press done once again uh, I select uh, the topological optimization and there you are now with this different uh, circuit here I still get uh, a written loss of better than 10 dB in the upper frequency range as I wanted but I also get uh, a good rejection in this uh, lower frequency range okay this concludes the uh, first example for one port circuit so let's move on and consider a two port uh, example so I go and delete uh, these targets uh, delete the circuit and delete uh, all existing data and, and for this uh, two port example I want to consider a simple uh, LC filter for which I have uh, the, the data here and this is a filter which is supposed to work in the uh, 2.4 to 2.5 uh, gigahertz range so I select the frequency range and uh, I select S11 and S21 also in this case uh, and load the data oops sorry there we are so we have uh, S11 here and uh, uh, S21 and maybe let's also load uh, S22 to complete the picture okay so this is kind of a lousy LC filter uh, and I want to see well first of all how it uh, um, behaves compared to my to the specification I have for this filter so I can actually insert the specification in uh, as optimization targets so I add uh, a new target for S21 so for the insertion loss in the passband of the filter and uh, this one has to be above minus uh, let's say 2 dB okay so this is the insertion loss but I also want uh, a good impedance matching in the passband uh, so I want S11 to be better than minus 10 dB S22 uh, be better the minus 10 dB as well but also have a, a rejection target uh, so for S21 uh, or S12 uh, is the same uh, so that in the 1710 to 1990 MHz frequency range uh, I must have a, a, a rejection better than uh, let's say 25 dB. Actually you can insert uh, more complicated targets like uh, minus 30 at the lowest uh, frequency to minus 25 at the upper frequency and uh, linearly interpolated in between. Okay, it's done. And now uh, my requirements appear on the plot and uh, as you can see the uh, S11 and S22 for the filter don't quite meet my requirements uh, 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 slight above the uh, minus 10 dB target uh, uh, at the band edges and uh, also the, the rejection is not good enough uh, uh, in, uh, in this frequency range okay so I want to see now if uh, by adding some extra component uh, on either side of the filter I can uh, uh, improve this uh, this filter and uh, so that it meets my requirement so I still have a, a one port uh, matching circuit so as a two port problem so I go to preferences and select two ports okay and then I'm prompted uh, to define the frequency range I want to use and uh, I just uh, select copy from, from the active trace uh, so I have the same data as in my same frequency range as in my uh, S parameter press OK uh, and now I have a two port circuit and uh, what I do is uh, delete uh, uh, 
this connection here and insert uh, uh, an S matrix block. Double click on it uh, and then uh, select uh, filter. Select the, the filter. And of course, if, if I press simulate here, it will just reproduce uh, the data I've just loaded because I've done no modification so far. Now, uh, before adding the, um, the extra components to the filter, uh, let me just change uh, the inductors to this uh, or to a one uh, uh, inductors, which work better for this problem. And then uh, I did the connection here, and I add a, a serials uh, LC resonator on this side of the filter, and on the other side uh, I insert. Uh, a parallel parallel LC resonator and uh, it's important uh, that uh, uh, when you have a two port circuit you cannot use the topological optimization uh, but you can use the auto automatic optimization when uh, uh, you have designed your, your own circuit so it will optimize for the values so I just press auto matching and uh, in a few seconds uh, I get the result okay and uh, if you look carefully you can see that now S11 and S22 are below minus 10 dB in the passband of the filter the insertion loss is still above the uh, the target and also here uh, the rejection is better than uh, uh, what I have requested uh, as a target. So now my filter meets uh, uh, the requirements I have. Uh, one last thing you, you could do is check if uh, uh, this uh, design is robust uh, versus the tolerances of your, uh, of your components. It's very easy as usual in uh, iTunes. So you just go to Tools and uh, press run tolerances analysis and uh, in a few seconds you will get a, an halo spread uh, around uh, uh, the plot with which show how much uh, the uh, the return law the ds parameters change uh, due to the variation in the um, in the manufacturing variation of the of the component and the value of the components and in this case uh, uh, the filter uh, seems good enough even when you take into account uh, all the variations. Uh. Okay, so this concludes this uh, tutorial and uh, I really hope that this uh, uh, new addition to iTunes uh, can make uh, the program even more useful uh, for all of you. Thank you very much for using iTunes.